is we are going to start sewing at the very top and we're gonna back stitch. There's not a ton of room to sew, but we're gonna stitch here. You could actually stitch to that first pin and back stitch that whole way if you wanted. Then we're gonna leave this inch as an opening. Okay, and then we'll stitch down to the other side. So let's get started. Line up the edge of your presser foot with the edge of your fabric. I'm gonna stitch to that first line and I'm just gonna back stitch the whole way. All right, lift your pin up, take out that first pin, trim your thread, and then you're gonna start sewing at that second pin. So that leaves an opening. So line that up. Do a little back stitch right there. Following the edge of your presser foot, you're gonna stitch down the remainder of this long side. When you get to the corner, go ahead and pivot. So keep your needle down, lift your presser foot, put it back down. You're gonna stitch to the other corner. Needle down, rotate it. So this side, we're just coming from the other direction. So we're gonna stop when we get to that first pin. We're gonna back stitch. Lift up your needle, trim your thread. Take out that pin. All right, go ahead and go to the second pin. Stitch that half an inch and back stitch. Okay, go ahead and trim your thread. And you can see that you have a little hole, little opening on each side. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim all my threads. We don't want a hairy project. So just go ahead and trim your threads. Make sure you put them in the garbage can. This just gives it a more professional look. And um, we're gonna be talking about ways to finish our seams today. So exposed seams um, need to be finished, especially with cotton fabrics, because as you can see, if I pull on this, it begins to fray. So there's a few different ways to finish our seams. Um, the way we will be doing today is doing a zigzag stitch along the edge. This will just make it so that it won't fray. Um, a couple other ways, there's a serger. So I like to, if you look in the inside of like your t-shirt or your jeans, you'll see this um, stitching with lots of crazy threads. That's serging, it's a different machine actually. Um, and then there's also pinking shears and these are zigzag cutting scissors, um, which creates a zigzag stitch making it so it will not fray. So what I'm gonna do first um, is I'm gonna iron open my seam. And we're just gonna iron open the two side seams. And this will make it so that we can create a zigzag stitch down each side. We need to do this so that we can keep that as an opening. So just go ahead and fold back one of the layers right along that side and iron it all the way down to the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna put my machine on a zigzag stitch. On this machine, it's zero 05. And this time I'm just gonna do my zigzag right along. So th these are my two sides. And I just want one layer of fabric. And I'm just gonna sew this zigzag right along the edge of that fabric. If it starts to eat it, then just start again, um, start a little bit further down. You can back stitch at the beginning, just a few stitches. I forgot to do that at the top of this. Just zigzag pretty close to the edge. Alright, 
when you get down to the bottom, just pull it out. So you can see it created a zigzag right along the edge. I'm gonna flip that one back and stitch it down the other edge. And you'll do that on all of those four sides. all four sides what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the bottom edge so we're leaving the top open do the bottom edge and I'm just gonna zigzag those two edges together this will reinforce that bottom edge as well as finish the seam Alright, trim all your threads and your seams are finished. <laughs> 